And so we actually spiced up the brisket a little earlier today. You mm -hmm. told us exactly how long to put it in for, and this is the finished product. This so tell us about the brisket. What This is what it should look like once it's done. Exactly. It looks like it's burned, but it's not. It's just the, uh, the smoke and uh, the heat coloring the, uh, the rub that we put on there. So, you know, after about 12 hours, this is what it's going to look like, okay? Um, we come in here and uh, we'll stick our fork in here and you can see that the fat is really kind of loose and that's one way that we check them or you can use your biotherm to check that as well. Internal temperature should be about 200 degrees pretty much okay. uh, when, you, when you take it out. Okay, so we're ready to slice. Yes. Get your brisket out, let it rest for about 15 minutes because if you cut it right off the bat, the juices are going to go everywhere. And that's with any kind of meat, correct? Yeah, exactly, Wait that's correct. 15 minutes. Correct. Okay, so what do you, how, do you want, how do you slice a brisket? Tell us how you do this. Well, this is the way I do it. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to see which way the grain runs. Okay. Okay, and I can see it's running like this way. Okay. So I'm just going to go in here. Woo! Don't want to get cut there? Nope. So you want to cut against the grain? Against the grain, always against the grain. And, and thin slices. Thin slices, that's how you should do brisket. Because some people like to do them in thick slices. Some people like to do them in thin. Now can you tell our viewers which part of the brisket is the moist part and which part of the brisket is the dry part? Because I know that some of it is lean, some of it is a little bit uh, more moist. Correct, correct. Well, as we said earlier, this is the heel of the brisket right here. Okay. And then this is the point over kind of on this way. Mm -hmm. So the moist part is going to be this part right up here at the top where all the fat was. And what happens is the fat kind of melts into the to the meat actually. And uh, we just have to, you know, trim trim the fat off and you'll get some marbling in there. And it's a little bit moist. It has a little bit more fat in there. Yeah. And it's probably not that good for you, you know, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, people it's just still love delicious. it. Yeah, people just love it. And then we also have some chicken and ribs here. So really quickly, tell our viewers what kinds of spices can you use on a piece of chicken and on the ribs as well? How long should you leave them on the grill for? And what's the internal temperature on these? Okay, the, uh, as far as a rub, use your favorite one. Just you know, you have to kind of taste them and, and mm -hmm. see which one that, that you like. Some are real spicy, some are not. Some you know have more brown sugar in them or sugar that, you know than other ones. Um, just spice them up, make sure again that your fire's ready to go. Because yeah. if you don't, you're gonna be sitting there waiting and it, it'll, it'll take forever to get it done. And really importantly, should you leave the meat out on the counter to come to room temperature before you throw it on the grill or should it be cold? With poultry and pork, it should be cold. Okay. Beef, you can leave it at room temperature if you're gonna grill it real quick. But chicken, you know, the danger zone is, uh, you know, between, you know, over 40 degrees. So you really don't want your meat, especially your poultry and your pork, staying out that long. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get to put your stuff on the grill, check the internal temperature before you pull it off. It should mm -hmm. be 165 degrees. Okay? okay, if it's not 165 degrees, you got to cook it longer. Or you, know, you could get salmonella or trichinosis or one of the other... Uh, uh, food, uh, food borne illness to degree. Danger your gas. No. Well, we want to thank you so much for being here this morning with us. And you have a location in Brownsville and in Far. So if That's people correct. don't want to cook, they can always head to Rudy's and pick up one of your great packages. Yes. Give us a call. We'll have a group meal ready for you. Give us about an hour to get it done if you can. The more time, the better. But we can get it going. All just right. give us a holler. Well, thank you so much. We'll be back in just. Thanks a for having me. Stay with us.